solutions are to, to well, fixing my truck? The solutions are to buy a new truck, mm -hmm. but, but it costs a lot of money. Right. Or you can... Blow it up? Or No. You Blowing said it up would be the smartest solution, but then it would have nothing and you would have to go to my other plan. But the only way to attack this virus well, is just how you attack one of the other virus. How? How do you handle with other viruses? Uh, I take vitamin D. In your computer. Oh, in the computer. Uh, hmm. I shoot it? Well, the best thing to ever do when you have a virus in your truck is to stop driving it for a while, get a guy on it, you know, get some guys on it, and, and take it to the dealers once in a while, seeing, seeing it, see if anybody can fix it. I've well, done that. But if that doesn't work, then you're going to have to go to plan B. What's plan B? The plan B is to switch your motor with a, if you already have a motor, that is like brand new, but you have never used it. Mm -hmm. The best idea, if you have two motors, one has a virus. The one thing you need to do is take that virus. Mm -hmm. The virus hides in one special place, a place where nobody would think it would be. Wait, not. in the trunk? No, if it was in the trunk, I would have known. But. It always hides where your engine runs. Where it, where it runs. It runs down the highway, doesn't it? It always runs in the core of your engine. Oh, oh, okay. So the best way to do that is either to take apart a few things and get to the core, or take out your engine and destroy your engine completely. Hmm. What do you think I should do? Well... Since that the core is half, there's only a half. You can go in from the bottom, but that would take a little while because the main solution is pretty hard. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear the main, main solution to that, that is not going to end well. What's the main, main solution? Take, you have to take out your gas tank mm -hmm. and pour the gas in your engine. And what will happen? See, bring her scooper up. 